la brasserie Du café de la paix Je t'attendrai Je porte un feu Hello everyone Today I want to show you three different ideas of how to wear a necklace with different necklines. I know some people struggle with this. I sort of see the mistakes all the time on the subway, as you've heard me talking about. Um, and so I wanted to kind of make it clear so that it's easy. As we're going through the holidays with New Year's coming up, this is like a really simple little um, 101. So here I have three different necklines, a scoop, the boat neck, and then a low scoop, which I also consider the same idea pretty much as a v-neck. I just didn't want to show you off. I didn't want to be redundant. So here with a scoop neck, it's nice to do something long. It can either be a necklace or a long scarf. It's nice to, for, for your eye to go down. A short necklace works with this as well, but this way it's, it's nice to highlight um, your ni nice neck, long necklaces on a dress like this. There's one thing I really um, don't think is as pretty, and I see people doing this all the time, which is doing a long necklace with a high turtleneck. I think that it looks a little bit not as elegant, and you don't need to repeat the long necklace with a t high neckline. The high neckline works on its own. A bracelet or ring or earrings is better. Here we have the boat neck. I did the sort of little Tanya Love fake pearls. This is really pretty. Again, you can almost treat this delicately with something short or you can do it without and again two really big long neck um, earrings and it's just as good thirdly the Anne Marie Chagnon this necklace says so much so doing it with something that is just a little bit lower a v-neck would work the same really highlights the necklace and that's what you want to do here so that it's it's still simple and elegant yet the necklace is the statement piece so I hope that helps to answer some questions and if you have Anything else you'd like to know, you can visit us at ziliauto.com or at all three stores.